Hi friends, today we are going to be painting canvas pencil pouches. You're gonna get this a pencil pouch just like this and some paint and a paintbrush. You're just gonna need some uh, newspaper to lay down and a cup of water and then either a paper plate or a plastic cover just like I use to mix your paint. Keep watching to find out how to make your pencil pouch look like this. Make sure you register to get your craft kit and I hope you have fun. So off screen, I already took some time to mix together some of my colors using my color wheel. So you're getting the primary colors again. So we have red, yellow, red, white, and black. And then you can mix those together to make all these other colors for however you're going to want to paint your pencil pouch. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take some scrap paper and put it inside your pouch. This is just gonna protect the paint from seeping through to the other side. So I'm gonna work on this side first. You can always paint both sides. You just wanna make sure that you let the first side dry, uh, probably about a day before you go and do the other side. So you can paint this however you like. You're, you know, you're welcome to go freehand. I'm just gonna teach you a quick way to do it that kind of gives you some cool shapes. So on my sponge, I'll have put some painter's tape, which is that what, this is what this is, this blue tape. And the cool thing about painter's tape is it's very easy to remove. It's not super, super sticky, but it's gonna give us some crisp lines if I crisscross it. But I want it a little thinner, so I'm just going to cut some strips real quick. And it doesn't need to be super exact because you can always go back and make some changes once you've removed your tape. So as you can see, and I'm just gonna lay it flat, I think right there. So what I'm doing is I'm making essentially white strips or this canvas strips. So then when I paint and I fill in the canvas, I'll have these blank strips left and it's gonna give us a cool geometric pattern. So I'm just gonna finish making some designs with this off screen and then I will catch you back when I've finished this part and then we can talk about painting. Okay, so I have finished taping off this side. So as you can see, I just kind of did some zigzags, diagonal crosses. Uh, it just gives it a nice cool effect once you've done, once you've painted and then you pull the strips up. So now when I start to paint, you're going to want to not take too much. You're gonna to wanna to go lightly and build layers. So I'm gonna kind of sponge it in. You don't wanna glob it on too much. You wanna take your time doing this part because if you do too thick of a coat, that's when the paint has the chance to uh, flake off once it's dried and we definitely don't want that. So I'm just kind of sponging it in with this and working in light layers. And I can always go back over. So see how I have some blank spots? I'm gonna go back over and just fill that in. And I just wanna make sure I get it fully covered, just like so. All right, I think now it's just kind of filling in the spots. So I'm gonna put some purple over here as well. And hopefully I have enough. Can always make some more if I need to. All right, I'm gonna finish filling these in using that same sponging technique. I have to make some more purple for this spot. And then I will catch up once I've filled in all of these spots. Okay, so once you have all of your 
sections filled, you're gonna start to remove the painter's tape. And then you get those cool, nice, crisp lines. And then just pull them all off, put them to the side. There you go. That's how using the painter's tape to fill this in goes. So you'd want to let this dry and it, it does dry fairly quick, but you want to make sure it's completely dry. So like I said, either let it dry for a day or at least overnight. And then you can always do the back side as well if you had wanted to. And there you go. Oh, and also just make sure you're a little more neater how I got some paint up on my zipper accidentally. If you do, that's fine, but there you go. That is how you make your, or paint in your pencil pouch. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Bye.